Wait a second. What a great way to end a week. Yeah. Truly, that was a great segment, and I'm just grateful that you came on, and I'm especially grateful for the pie. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Employee of the week. We're going to just make it of the year. Tyler Morrell of Coco's Pizza. That's it for us for the week. We'll be back. By the way, the entire episode of Let Them Eat Bugs, not quite as good as pizza, streaming now on Fox Nation. Use the promo code ORIGINALS for 30 days free. And we'll be back on Monday. In the meantime, have the best weekend with the ones that you love, and we'll see you then. Spoiler alert, he did not come back on Monday. In fact, that was the last moment from Tucker Carlson's program ever. Because as I'm sure you've heard by now, Tucker Carlson has been fired from Fox News. That's right, the most effective propagandist in American media who mainstreamed white supremacy to an audience of millions every single night has been fired from Fox News. And that, in my opinion, is very good news. Now, what's bizarre about this entire situation is that in the same day, we learned that Don Lemon was let go from CNN. But more on that in a moment, because I think that the most consequential news is Tucker Carlson being fired from Fox News, because that's going to have, I think, the biggest impact overall on American democracy. So let's get to the statement released by Fox News. Predictably, it's very vague and corporate and tells us nothing. But regardless, let's take a look at it. This was shared by CNN's Oliver Darcy. And it reads, Fox News Media and Tucker Carlson have agreed to part ways. We thank him for his service to the network as a host and prior to that as a contributor. Mr. Carlson's last program was Friday, April 21st. Fox News Tonight will air live at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, starting this evening as an interim show helmed by rotating Fox News personalities until a new host is named. Yes, yeah, so this was abrupt. They fired him and they don't even have anybody to, to replace him yet. Now... The level of damage that Tucker Carlson has done to the brains of millions of Americans really can't be overstated. And Fox News let him get away with what he's gotten away with for so long because he was popular. He brought eyeballs to Fox News, which was great for advertisers. And for years, this individual has spread white supremacist great replacement conspiracy theories, deadly anti-vaccine misinformation that probably killed hundreds, if not thousands of people in his own audience. He arguably inspired mass shootings like the one in Buffalo. He's promoted trans genocide, called immigrants dirty, dehumanized unhoused people. And he went on countless racist rants every single week for years. And now he's gone like that. And we don't even know why. He probably doesn't even know why. But I do know that this is a massive victory for America. The question is, why did this happen? Why was the most popular cable news show host in America abruptly fired? And we don't know the answer. We may never know the answer, but here's some additional insight that I do find interesting courtesy of the Daily Beast. They report the Fox Star's exit was so abrupt that just hours before the news broke, the network was still promoting his Monday night interview with GOP long shot presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. Short after Carlson's exit was announced, Fox Corporation's stock price dropped by more than 3%. One Fox News reporter shortly after Carlson's exit was revealed told the Daily Beast they were, quote, amazed and relieved that they had the balls to get rid of the bombastic host. The Los Angeles Times, meanwhile, reported on Monday that the decision to terminate Carlson came directly from Murdoch himself. The massive payout to Dominion and the need to show shareholders that the network was serious about addressing the increasingly strident tone of its programming may have only played a part in Carlson's demise. Yeah, so we just... We don't know. We don't know why he was let go. All we can do is speculate. But I will say this. It is very likely the case, unfortunately, that we have not seen the last of Tucker Carlson. He is probably going to either launch his own independent show or get picked up by a different far-right media outlet like Newsmax or The Daily Wire. But one thing that I can say with certainty is that losing that platform, that gig that he had at, at Fox News, that is no small thing. At Fox News... He was at the top of the mountain, and wherever he lands in media, it can never compare to that Fox News platform. I mean, right there, that was the biggest he's ever going to be in terms of his media career. And sure, he could still have a long media career ahead of him. I hope that that's not the case, but he could still have a long media career ahead of him. But he can also still do damage in other ways. For example, if he chooses to get into politics that can be an area where he bolsters his significant uh, significance and impact. It's been rumored for uh, quite some time that he wants to run for president. But, I mean, 
the thing about Tucker Carlson is that even though he's gone, that doesn't necessarily mean that the underlying problems at Fox News are going to be automatically solved with his departure. More than a decade ago, approximately, give or take, when Bill O'Reilly was uh, replaced by Tucker Carlson, I was very relieved because I thought that Bill O'Reilly was a danger to the American people. But it turned out that the days where Bill O'Reilly was a host was the most dangerous host, you know, that was preferable to what the Tucker Carlson era gave us because I thought that Tucker Carlson was exponentially more dangerous than Bill O'Reilly. So it's possible that the next Tucker Carlson could be even worse than what we saw. But it's also possible that no one can really scratch that white supremacist itch quite like Tucker Carlson. Either way, this is at least a temporary win for America, and it's a massive massive setback for the white supremacist fascist movement in America. And I think that that alone is cause for celebration. But Tucker's termination, as I mentioned, wasn't the only major upset in cable news today because Don Lemon of CNN was also fired from his job. Now, in terms of influence, I don't think that Don Lemon could compete with Tucker Carlson. And I personally don't really have any strong feelings about Don Lemon. I think that he's a milquetoast centrist and he wasn't the worst, wasn't the best at CNN. But the problem is that his termination may, may be indicative of an underlying problem developing at CNN that could be cause for concern. But first, let's get to his announcement uh, because he tweeted out news of his termination in size 50 purple font for some reason, I guess to punish us. But he writes, I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. I am stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have the decency to tell me directly. At no time was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to do the work I have loved at the network. It is clear that there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I want to thank my colleagues and the many teams I have worked with for an incredible run. They are the most talented journalists in the business, and I wish them all the best. So needless to say, he seemed pretty shocked by this news, but CNN responded saying, Don Lemon's statement about this morning's events is inaccurate. He was offered an opportunity to meet with management, but instead released a statement on Twitter. But I mean, that's pretty vague, right? If it was clear that he was getting fired, how would meeting with management change that? I mean, maybe they're disputing that he said he got no indication from management that he would be fired. Either way, it just kind of seems like they're trying to save face. Now, in truth, CNN has left hints here and there over the last couple of months that they are dissatisfied with uh, Don Lemon. But it seems like the straw that broke the camel's back, at least according to Aaron Rupar, a journalist on Twitter, is an interview that he had with a Republican presidential candidate. Quote, according to the New York Times, this interview that Don Lemon conducted last week with Vivek Ramaswamy played a role in his firing. Note co-host Poppy Harlow sitting silently while Lemon goes after Vivek. So without further ado, let's watch. With due respect, I find I find, I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to black Americans, to say that black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part people, of what secured Hang on, please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So uh, hang on one second. So to say that, that black people, say, say what you said again. Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second Black Amendment rights had, were secured. They were not secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting uh, uh, Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War, <laughs> and that things turned around. People would, tried to change the freedoms that were supposed and to happen. And you know how after they, the got they got it? They got their Second Amendment rights, and they actually got the NRA played a big role in that. But today, down the The final, NRA did the, not play a oh, big absolutely. role. They train that black Americans how to use firearms. That's a lie. But, that's not. The NRA actually, did not play a big role. This in is just historical fact. It's, it's but not the, historical the, fact. The, the part that I just find because you say it's historical the fact. The part that I find insulting fact. is when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have the gone through that I civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the the, the way I live, the skin I live in every day. Here's and where I you and I have a different point of view. That black 
people don't have in this he, country here, and that black people do have. Well, here's country. where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man, insulting that but you're me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting what I think here, we whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm, I'll what tell it's you, like to be black Whatever in ethnicity I'm, I'm, I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this debate. On the content of the ideas. do it, you should do it in an honest way and in a fair way. And what you're doing is not an honest and fair way. Okay? It, with, but we with, appreciate you coming on. With Thank due you respect, Don, I look forward to continuing that conversation. We'll Thank continue you. the conversation. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Papa. We'll talk about China. Yes, let's Next talk about China. Time you come back. Oh, thank you. Much to say on declaring independence from China. Okay, something you can add on. on now, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I find that really bizarre that they would fire him over that because that was a good segment. Like he did lightly snap at producers and he presumably removed his earpiece, although the camera was focused on Vivek when they were talking. But I mean, he was pushing back. Because what Vivek was saying was factually inaccurate. Maybe CNN didn't like that he was challenging him so vociferously because it makes them look biased against Republicans. And they're currently trying to appeal more to Republicans. But I mean, to fire him over this or at least have this be one of the main reasons as to why he was canned. It just makes it more obvious that CNN is trying to move further to the right in an effort to appeal to right wingers. And now that Tucker Carlson is gone, there's going to be a vacuum that's created. And maybe CNN is going to attempt to fill that vacuum or try to fill that vacuum by appealing to disaffected Fox News viewers. But either way, like you're not going to appeal to Fox News viewers after years of Donald Trump calling you fake news and Republicans attacking you to think that you're going to appeal to them is just nonsensical. But either way, if CNN shifts to the right, they're only going to lose more of their core audience and their ratings are going to tank further. But either way, this news is shocking to me. And the most shocking aspect about this story is Tucker Carlson getting shit canned because it's good. I'm sorry. Like, I'm genuinely relieved to see one of the most destructive forces in the history of American media deplatformed. I know that people like Jimmy Dore are crying currently and they're going to accuse me of supporting censorship because I'm happy that he was fired. But I mean, cope and seethe. This man was an absolute monster. And I have no doubt that the person who replaces Tucker Carlson ultimately will be a monster, if not a bigger monster than him. But at least for now, we can see that one of the most destructive people in American media lost the top spot. And that is, uh, that's a good thing. You know, the crab dance song is playing in my head all day as I read this news. But I'm gonna leave you with my favorite clip of Tucker Carlson. And that is the clip of him being confronted by an American patriot about the damage that he's caused to the country. Enjoy. What? I don't care, man. Okay, just do you are the worst human being I've ever known to man. I want you to to this state, to the United States, to everything else in this world, I don't care that you're not here. What you have done to people's families, what you have done to everybody else in this world. Son. Don't call me son. One. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the Come Zone. Come. 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 Come.